So paper stencils are another one of our great low-tech ways to make an edge in paint. Okay, so today I'm going to show you cloud making because it's one of my favorite things to do. And for that, we're going to use a piece of cloth that I already put some paint on. And I'll, I'll do a couple of demos. I'll do one on a fresh piece and one on this. And then we're going to add some clouds. And what's important here is that clouds always need to go into a sky that already has color in it to soften them and to get them to um, look more natural. So to do that, um, what we do first is get the um, canvas totally wet. So we'll take the paint and then we're going to put just a little bit of this blue that I've already mixed and uh, I'll, I'll make a list of what I use to make that blue. We'll do color mixing another time. But for now, let's just put some of that paint on this applicator. And again, this is a fairly thin veil of paint. There's not a lot of paint on here. There's several blues, there's white, there's a little beige, there's a little bit of Payne's Gray, which is a blue-gray in there to soften it because sky blue is never out of the bottle bright. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then go back in. And today we're going to just totally use these brushes because they're what work. And I'm going to show you two ways. So the clouds can actually be free-handed right into here with a reminder that clouds actually aren't totally white either. They've got a lot of different colors in them. So a little Payne's Gray will be something that we want to use here. So just taking a little bit of that. Okay. So I'm going to take the other side and get some of that. And then I can... It's not really showing up yet. Okay, so that would be the first, ooh, a little too much there. So you see how I'm working back into it. So that we can get some layers and depths going on here. Okay. We're going to put that aside for a minute, <clears throat> let that set up, and I'm going to show you another trick here. So this one is one I already painted sky color on in the past. And in fact, I got that a little too wet, so I'm going to that a bit. Get some of the water off it. So it's not quite, quite so wet. 
And then I'm going to put a layer of this same blue, even though it's not the, the same color as the one that's down there. But I'm going to put a thin layer of that on anyway. It's going to look scary at the moment. The blue that's under there will shine through. And now I'm going to show you another way of adding clouds. So I love to use newspapers that I tear, and to do that, well, I literally just rip, rip them, and then watch. Now we've got those edges, those beautiful edges that clouds have. And again, I'm working back into the color that's down there because again, clouds, we think of them as having hard edges, but in fact, they really don't. So if you blend them into something which is already into the sky that's already there, they're going to look much more natural. Let's get a little bit of that gray in there in this one, too. And you can just keep on going. But that's a basic, basic tricks of the trade for how to get realistic feeling clouds. And when I'm painting clouds, I'm usually looking at a cloudy sky. I'm not looking at a photo. I'm looking at a cloudy sky. In fact, I'm looking out my window right now, and I'm seeing that this little one, a little too dark there, but you see how I'm painting in right on top of the dark one. And then you start getting those layers, those layers of the clouds on top of other clouds.